Hello, my pretties. What's up? It's the Lion Queen here. Welcome to episode 299 of Shadows and Pretties. And today in this episode, we're going to be reviewing a sequel to one movie that I reviewed last episode. So today we're going to review uh, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs um, 2. This is a sequel to the first one, and this one came out in 2013. It is a sequel to Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. And this honestly stars... Bill Hader, who was is Flint Lockwood in from the first movie, um, and it's got a you know pretty much the original actors and voice actors that came back to do you know from the first one to do this one to like reprise their roles. So this one honestly was pretty good. Honestly, it was actually a pretty good sequel to the first um, Clyde with the Chance of Meatballs movie. Which, I mean, I like the first one, but I was surprised about this one. So, I guess with that being the case, or that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much explain what the plot of the second movie is. In case you guys have not watched the movie in a really long time. So, the... Well, however, though, we can definitely say that, you know, the development... The sequel of this movie was announced sometime in 2011... So, pretty much they got most of the cast and crew to, from the first one to return, except for Phil Lord and Chris Miller, which unfortunately couldn't return for the sequel. The movie is just, like, the music is just as good as, you know, the first film. Which I honestly have to say, there is a Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, um, well, game for the DS or something. However, here's one thing I can definitely say. Um... It's just announced in, you know, September of 2023 that Phil Lord stated that the script was complete for a third installment of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs called Planet of the Grapes, which honestly, I don't even know if that's going to, you know, have anything to relate to this movie. Well, not the, not just this movie, but the series or not, but maybe someone can let me know in the comments below if more information gets out there. I personally thought that this was a pretty good sequel to the first movie. It honestly just did just as well as the first film. So, let's get started with the plot of this movie. In case you guys have not seen this movie in a really long time, or for those that have not seen it. So, this takes place from the first, um, you know, movie where Flint saved his island chew and swallow from his invention. So, Chester V, a CEO of Live Corp, and Flynn's childhood idol offers his company services to help clean the food off the island while he evacuates the residents. So Chester hires Flint, but during the short tenure at Live Corp, Flint enters a competition for the promotion, only to public humiliate himself by accident via invention called Party in a Box, which is prematurely goes off when he does not win. So later on, Chester informs Flint that his machine is still functioning and is creating a satin of food creatures known as foodimals, which one has attacked his employees stationed at Swallow Falls. Chester then tells Flint that he needs to travel alone to the island Lynn, to insert the USB flash drive device, but however Flint takes his pet monkey Steve, his meteorologist girlfriend Sam Sparks, her cameraman Manny, the police officer Earl Durvrox and former mascot of Chew and Swallow Chicken Brent Hale. So Flint is grudgingly accepts the offer of Tim, which window his father, who takes them to the island using a fishing boat. So when Chester learns that Flint is not alone, he and his much abused Oregon again, or Oregon assistant Barb gathers some of the employees to follow. So while Tim stays on the boat and makes friends with some living pickles, Flint and his friends work their way through the jungle-like environment of food that is now completely in the covers of the island. They cover, you know, encounter many food moles, including a living strawberry that Sam names Barry, a cheese spider, and the, the food mole that attacked Chester's employees that causes Flint and the gang. But, however, they were chased, chased by it. Chester arrives, scaring it off, and join their mission. Sam's becomes suspicious of Chester's motives, and his claims about the food animals being dangerous do not align with that they are observed. However, Flint is too afraid and 
of a failure to listen. So eventually leading Sam, Earl, Manny, and Brent to strike out on their own, they re-encounter and befriend the cheese spider, discovering it was only acting hostile towards people wearing life corp gear. So when the group deduces that the food and moles have realized something sinister about the company known as Live, part of its name Evil, spelled backwards. They are then captured by Chester's employees when they fail to attempt to go and warn Flint. So Flint, Chester, and Barb track down, down the F-L-D-S-M-D-F-R. If you guys know what that is, you know, from when I talked about the first um, movie in Shaz and Praise, you'll know what I mean. But after meeting and befriending some of the living marshmallows it created, Flint defies Chester and refuses to use the BSUSB. However, Chester inadvertently inserts the device into the machine itself, revealing it to be a hacking device designed to reprogram it. So now with the machine under now under his control, Chester there disposes of Flint and starts capturing food emuls, intent on using them as key ingredients for Life Corp's coming up food line bars. So the marshmallows rescue Flint and reunite with Tim and Tim. However, the duo realizes that without the FLD SMDFR, the existing food emuls in the ecosystem will die off as Flint offers his condolences. He is surprised to discover that the food emuls have been watched the live footage of him creating that machine, revert to him as the creator he inspired. So Flint vows to then save the island. Tim and the food emuls catapult Flint and Barry into the corp base, and some captive food emuls are freed by Barry. They help ride off the company's employees. Flint confronts Chester, who friends to turn his friends into food bars as well. When Barb begins to show reluctance, Chester dismisses is her bat and battles Flint alone. Flint uses his party in the box invention to beat him and free of his friend. And however, Chester attempts to escape with the machine and is pursued by the food moles and Flint's group. Barb turns on Chester for his abuse and steals the machine back. However, that's when Chester gets eaten by the cheese spider. Flint returns with the F L D S M D F R where it was found. It frees Chester from its control and reconciles with his friends. And the residents of Shallow Falls return to their proper homes, adapting to the Ultra ecosystem, and they are happy in continuing their lives. However, the machine Flint made continues creating food moles, which have live and coexist peacefully along the island Sanders, and that's how the movie ends. Personally, in my opinion, I thought this was a really awesome sequel. It's got, you know, the cat... Most of the cast members from the first movie. And I personally really thought this was a really good sequel. I mean, I have not watched this movie in like a really long time. But I personally thought it was well made in detail. I mean, as much as I liked the first movie, I thought this one did just as good as the first in the film. I personally really need to watch this film again. Because this film was such an awesome movie. It's pretty well made in detail. And it honestly was just as good as the first movie. I mean, most people would remember, you know, this film because of how well made it is. I personally thought it was a really good film and it still is a good movie even though it's like over 10 it's just 10 years old. I personally still thought it was enjoyable for what it is. So, do I personally recommend this movie? Well, if you've seen the first um Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs movie, you really have to see the sequel. It is just as good as the first film. I personally liked it. I thought it was well made. I really liked the fact that the ca most of the cast and crew returned to do the sequel, which is awesome. I personally really liked the movie. I thought it was well made in detail. Animation about it is still good. I like the plot of this movie too. So the plot was just as good. I personally really, really enjoy this film. So do I recommend it to kids? Yeah, I recommend this movie to kids. I mean, kids would definitely enjoy this movie just as much as they like the first film if they've seen it. I personally thought it was well made in detail. It's it's really good. It's got good music. It's got good voice acting. The animation's flat out amazing. I like the food food emails. I thought they looked pretty interesting. The characters look pretty awesome. And I personally really enjoyed how well made this film came to be. I personally still like it today. 
And it's still a pretty good film, despite it, you know, it's pretty much hadn't shown in age, but I personally still like it. So, I guess with that being said and that being the case, that's pretty much all I have to really say, but... But it was, like I said before, this is just simply my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these um, movies. This is just simply my own personal thoughts. Now, if you don't like the sequel to The Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs, I respect your opinion if you don't like the sequel. If you like the sequel, let me know what you think in the comments below. Because I personally would really like to hear what your thoughts on it. So... I guess with that being said and that being the case, um, let me know what you guys think of this movie in the comments below. Did you think it was a good sequel to the first movie? Did you not like it? Let me know what you guys think and also what would you have done to make this movie a lot better? Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video and if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new, ring the bell for notifications, to when I upload so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you're interested in following my media such as uh, DeviantArt or Twitter, link to those will be in the About page section in this channel so you guys can go check that out. Also, if you want to follow me on DeviantArt, I have DeviantArt. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I have Twitter as well. Like I said before, I know I've said this before, it's in the About page section when you click on my channel. Also, if you're interested in subscribing to my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo, link to that will also be in the About page section so you guys can go uh, follow me on there if you like. So, as always, that's pretty much all I have to really say, but if I'm missing something, let me know what it is in the comments below. So, I guess with that being the case and with that being said, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace out, and like always, I'll see you all next time.